about today. If my swimming is all met, this shit smell good as a motherfucker. The motherfucker's got a dirty mouth for burn my motherfucking biscuit. You put it over your fucking gravy. You always got something for ass. And you make your fucking gravy. Cause he's always been talking that trash. I wish you motherfuckers could smell this shit. It's easy to say shit. We roasting off this poblano pepper today for a special dish. Join me. Shall y'all? And we're roasting off or grilling off. Uh, a pepper what you're doing is you're charring the outside so you can take that skin off you put it in a in a airtight package here this is just a uh a tupperware pack uh container with some foil on top to make it sweat you see the steam starting to build up in there and that make the skin come right off of there then i'm gonna show you what we're gonna make so today we're making chili from nilgay hamburger and what the nilgay is, it's a uh, it's an antelope, it's an antelope species, and it's uh, indigenous to Nepal and uh, that northern, uh, the northeastern part of India. Now this is a uh, um, raised in South Texas for game, uh, for our food, game hunting and food. So uh, we're gonna be cooking this today. Uh, it translates into blue bull. That's what the Nilgay mean in those dialects. But it's a very large antelope and it's uh, better tasting than beef. So we're going to make that today. Okay, so our pepper's been sitting there for about uh, 10 minutes. They're sweating it out. I mean, the skin's going to come right off. Now, always make sure you have some glove on when you start messing with these because sometimes they are very spicy and your fingers will steam for the next hour. You see, after you roast it and sweat it, the skin just come right off of there. You got a beautiful pepper. It's hard for me to hold this camera in this hand and try to do this with the other, but you see the the, the point here. They just come right off, and then we're going to chop that up. It's part of our dish. Make sure you have glove on. If you don't have a glove on, wash your hand right afterwards, and don't go to the bathroom without washing your hand. You will regret it. Okay, so over here I cut up some yellow onion, some purple onion, that poblano pepper I roasted off, and some uh, jarred garlic. I don't have any fresh garlic, so I'm gonna use the jarred garlic. We're gonna saute that in some canola oil, and we're gonna add our meat. And I can't even tell you how good that smells. It smells so damn good. I wish this thing had smell of vision. I wish you motherfuckers could smell this shit. Okay, I put that shovel meat in there. You can see how beautiful that meat looks. Very nice looking meat. I'm gonna give that a good uh, stirring up here. Okay, so that's been cooking for about five minutes now. <clears throat> Can't see it because the damn steam coming out there. It's all brown enough, you can see them chilies and stuff in there. Next thing we're going to add is some Colonel Insane. You can look back at a previous video on how to make Colonel Insane. I may do another giveaway. There's about a cup of Colonel Insane in there. This going to make a pretty good sized batch. That's about a uh, four pound of meat. Then we're going to add some diced tomato. Yeah, that's starting to look pretty damn good there. Now what we're gonna do now, we added them uh, petite diced tomato in there. We're gonna add about a, a quart of water to this. And let that reduce down and get all them flavors marrying together. Okay, so we add that quart of water in there. We're gonna let that simmer back down. Let it simmer for about, uh, I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes and check it. Turn the heat down low and let it go. So it's been a really long week at work this week. Uh, I've been working a lot of hours and uh, very, very busy. I hope you guys enjoyed the food from uh, some of the last couple of episodes. Um, it's rainy today. 
trying to get my car cleaned up to get ready to go to the shop next week. And um, I just feel it's a good day to make some chili because it won't be cold and rainy much longer. It's going to be hot and steamy pretty soon here in Texas. So it just seemed like a good day to make some chili. Okay, let's check in on this chili here. Chili looking real nice. Something thickening up there. Real nice. So that got me to thinking, what better way to try this chili than on some asshole and lips? This is a jumbo all beef hot dog. Got to split it in half there. Put my chili right down the middle here. Now that is what the fuck I be talking about. Thank you for joining me today, and you motherfuckers have a good day.